Hi, my name's Chris Thomas. Welcome to this tutorial. Here I'm going to show you how to download a video from YouTube so that you can make use of it at a later date within the classroom. Now many schools find that YouTube is blocked and therefore they can't make use of this excellent resource. Even if you do have access to YouTube, you may well still find this to be a useful tutorial as it will save you having to search for videos during your lesson and wait for them to download. So to start, I'm going to go to YouTube and search for the video I'd like to download. Now I'm looking for a video to do of seed dispersal for use in a science lesson. So here are my results. The first thing is to click on the video I'd like to use, which is the first one. I'm just going to make sure it's definitely the video I want, which it is. So once you've found the video that you'd like to use, you're interested in the top right hand section of the website. This contains the URL, which is a unique address to this exact video. So I'm going to select that text by clicking on it and then I need to copy that to my computer memory because I'll be using that in a moment. So to do that, I right click and choose copy. Now we're going to go to a new website called zamzar.com. Zamzar is a really useful website to know about. They offer a service where they'll convert one type of file into another type of file. Now it is a paid for service, but there's also a free service that they do. The only difference being the number of files you can convert in one day and how quickly they'll convert those files for you. I've always found the free service to be absolutely fine though. One of the services they'll provide is they'll convert a YouTube video into a format you can download. And to access that, you click on download video. Now there's three steps to this process. The first is to paste in the URL or the unique address of the YouTube video that we'd like to convert. So to do that, I delete the text that's already in the box. I then right click in the box and choose paste. Step two is to decide what sort of format I'd like to convert my YouTube video into. By clicking on the arrow, you can see that there's a whole host of video formats there, including those for the iPhone, the iPod, MOV files. I'm going to click on the WMV format. This stands for Windows Media Video File. Now, I use Promethean software at school and find WMVs to be the best format for video. So I'm going to select that. The final step is to enter your email address into this box. They need this because they'll send you an email when your file conversion has been completed. Sometimes it might take a couple of minutes, sometimes it could take longer depending upon how busy the Zamzar service is. Step four finally is to click on convert. It just pops up a little box just to say, are you sure you want to do this? And I'm going to click on OK. Now you'll notice we now have a progress bar at the bottom of the screen. It's uploading this video file, which I think was quite large. It was around 10 minutes long, so we'll come back to this when it's completed. Okay, there we go, my video has completely uploaded, and now what's happening is the Zamzar servers are going to whir away and convert it into a WMV, or Windows Media Video File. They'll send me an email when that process is finished, it could take five minutes, it could take a lot longer, depending upon how busy they are. But we'll go and check my email now, and we can see that I've got an email from Zamzar. So inside the email I'm looking for a link to download the video. It's around halfway down, here it is, so I'll click on that. That pops open a web page from which I need to click on the download now button. Now I want to save this file to my disk, so I'll click on save. And this file has come out at around 70 megabytes, which is quite large. So we'll come back to this in a couple of minutes time when that file has downloaded. Okay, there we go. This video file has almost downloaded and there we go. So we can close all these windows now. We don't need these anymore. What I should find on my desktop is that I've got a video file with rather a strange name. Now it gives it these odd names which are obviously no use to me. So I'm going to click on that and rename it something a bit more sensible. So I'm going to call this Seed Dispersal. Then when I double click on this file, we should find that it plays within Windows Media Player. Okay, that's the end of this tutorial. I hope you found it useful. Thanks very much for watching.